Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading Aries, for those of you guys returning, welcome to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, also hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. Let's get into your reading Aries. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of April 2022, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, and Archangels, give us clarity and insight for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What can they expect for this month? What is unfolding before them? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to do it a little bit uh, a little bit different this time, Aries. We're going to be free-handing it, okay? So we're just going to be pulling out cards, whichever cards that uh, want to speak to you for this month. So let's get into it. If you guys like it, definitely let me know and we'll do more videos like this. Alrighty, let's get into it. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is unfolding for them for this month of April 2022? All right, here we go. Aries, let's see what's going on with you guys. All right, first card, we have the Strength card. So this is talking about um, being a little bit more courageous, Aries, believing more in yourself. Um a lot, oftentimes we have a tendency of, you know, being loud or perhaps um, when we're dealing with a partner, friends, loved ones, we have a tendency of wanting to show that we're strong, right? Um, and we all know we don't doubt Aries, right? But it is necessary for this month of April to maintain your composure. Uh, it is all about uh, being tactful in the way you express yourself or the way you um, process certain type of emotions. So it is about uh, mastering the art of your emotions, Aries. Sometimes when people push us to the limit or they continuously keep pushing us, uh, we pretty much get to a point of where it's a, you know, we're walking time bombs. And at some point we're going to flip the switch and completely go off on people, right? Um, and this card is encouraging you for this month uh, to com to maintain your composure, but not only that, to be confident in yourself. And uh, there's a difference between being confident and being arrogant. And uh, being confident is having not the need to prove anything to, uh, to anyone. It comes down to proving it to yourself. So are you doing the decisions in life or whatever actions you're taking? Are you doing them based off of what others may say or think about you? Or are you doing it because you're trying to prove yourself? Uh, to someone or something. Um, ultimately, it comes down to believing in yourself and to also master the art of not allowing people to get you out of character for this month, Aries. All right, uh, the next card here, we have the Three of Cups. So celebratory type of energy. I feel that for this month of April, you guys are going to be a little bit more social. Um, this could be even in connection or connecting with someone that perhaps you haven't seen for a while, could be a friend, could be family members, or it could be having the the need to uh, be more around your tribe, be more around the people that motivate you, that keep you focused. I definitely see you guys coming out of hermit mode for sure. Uh, so this could be you guys being more, you know, re-energized, uh, being a little bit more social, putting yourself out there. For those of you guys in the dating scene, be careful not to... Uh, pursue or to actively chase people that you know are only in it for the physical and yes Aries this can also indicate you having the need to be completely honest and transparent with people especially those that you're being uh, physically uh, having physical connections with where there is expectations if you're not wanting anything serious be honest about it now the next card here is the five of cups so for some of you guys it could be um currently going through a situation where you're being a little bit more social or you're putting yourself out there for some of you guys. This could be the spark or the beginning of your dating life. Um, and it could be because in the past you kind of put yourself on a shelf, Aries. Whether it was waiting on someone or whether it was hoping uh, that certain things would just fall into place. At this point in time, what they're telling you, it's time to move on. It's time to stop looking towards the past or comparing yourself to past people or to past relationships or to stop comparing the people you're currently dealing with with people from your past okay now the next card here is the wheel of the year so yes your season is finally here aries 
the season of dating, the season of putting yourself out there, the season of trying new things. The Wheel of Fortune is an indication that things are quickly coming to a change for you. Whether it's romantically or whether it's just having an active social life, there's definitely plenty to go around for this month of April. I want to wish you guys the very best. I hope you enjoy and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.